presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Alan Homosasa. Hey, Al, what's going on? Uh, isn't it wonderful? This gentleman here with the gold report, right before the market fell apart, ended up with PAAS. We had a 98% gain in a year. And, uh, I mean, you weren't 99% proof like Irish whiskey, but we had a good gain there. You always told us to do what we feel comfortable with. And if I lose a little bit of money on the table, I will, but I know that I just pocketed eight or $9,000 in two weeks. That's a beautiful thing, man. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien at TFNN. We are five days a week. We are seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows up. Everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks, and a great week. Always do your best, but don't overdo. Always do your best, but don't overdo. When you overdo, you deplete your body and you go against yourself. It will take longer to accomplish your goals. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 365, NASDAQ off 220, S&P's off 58, gold contract down $4.90, traded at 1851 an ounce. You get silver down 33 cents, $21.77 an ounce. Platinum off 37 bucks, 974 an ounce. Light sweet crude off 51 cents, uh, $51 rather. 50, no, 51 cents. Oh my God. Yeah, 51 cents. At 121.59, notes and bonds. The 10 year note right now trading down five at 117.29. The 30 year up five at 137.03. And King Dollar. King Dollar is up by 738 ticks, trading 103.280. The euro is out here at a price point of uh, 106. The yen is at 134, and the British pound is at 125 to one U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. Okay, so what we have here is that you're getting an expansion of volume right now. Uh, bottom line, you're down 570. Now, that being said, folks, okay, if we go over to the queues for a second, I want to show you something. We just, well, they, they, the spy did it too, but I just happened to be watching the queues more than the spy. We just finished an ABC structure on the way down intraday and the queues and then end up futures. So, what we also did is that we just did a 100% move of a move. So, for your bulls out there, I suspect that this, this is where you can get a bounce. You know, let me show you this, how this sets up. And when you put these together, I, I anyway, the, the bottom line is that you know I do what I do. Just price and volume on a continual basis. And what, hey, so watch this. This is pretty cool. Do it this way. Okay, so first off, you were going against the spike low from two days ago. That spike low was uh, 412, 10, uh, 12,412. Your ABC structure came down to, I, I believe it was 12,424. So, bottom line, you find out right now, man, if, if you have it, if there's anything in it, or if this market's going to start doing a 1 to 1.382 on the way down. Realistically, I think what you're going to see here is that you're going to get a bounce into the close. You know, this, the market's been down all day. Um, you know, we'll see where it shakes out. But that's because when you finish these ABC structures, particularly we're finishing it going against this type of, you know, this would be like a, sign of strength that we had on Tuesday. You get a sign of strength on the way up. You gave it up on price. You came back to it and we still came back even though this volume exploded. You got 19,000 contracts versus 32,000. So that tells me that we can get a little bounce going. We'll see where it shakes out. Gold, gold contract out here. We take a look at the gold contract. Gold contract trading down 560. We got to 1841. We're trading 1850. Yeah, we just need. It's a, it's amazing that the dollar is actually up as much as it is, and uh, we are still bottom line not that bad in the gold market because 
uh, <laughs> this gold market with the way that the dollar is so strong, man, could be so much lower. It's unbelievable. And when it's done out here today, you got 120,000 contracts. A rejected lower price again. Bottom line is that, you know, uh, wants higher price. Notes and bonds. We take a look at the note and bond market out here. Uh, Ten-year note right now is trading 117.29. This baby, uh, you know, bottom line looks to me like wants to go after its lows again. You know, the low that we're talking here is at that 116.21. Right now you're at 117.30. And we go over to King Dollar. Now, King Dollar is getting a little uh, pump up here in a monster way, not, you know, so this is, let's do this, let me do this one second. So if I take a look, let me just see this, last run. So the last run, yeah, see the last run, when we came back down, what happened is that we did a 50% retracement, and that's saying that, hey, guess what, you can go back to the highs again. This dollar has wide price spread out here today. And uh, I suspect, you know, the, the Europeans are bottom line saying that they're going to, you know, finally after 12 years, you know, get out of negative rates. But the market's not believing it because he had the euro trade to a high of 1.07 uh, and now you're at 1.06. You know, so that they are not buying that. Well, the market's not buying that in a second. We go look at the uh, oil market out here. Let's bring up uh, CL. There we go. Okay, so we get oil trade in 121.36. This is going sideways, man. 252,000 contracts. That's good contract volume. Bottom line is that that oil market still wants higher price. This is how this is setting up. Uh, what we want to, what you want to watch real closely is this coming into the close. Is it's going to be as I as I said a little bit earlier. I think that this market's going to try to bounce because the ABC structure intraday is finished. If it doesn't, that's really going to show you how weak this market is. But let's say that we do bounce. What you want to want to look at is that do we get an expansion of volume? Because we have not got an expansion of volume on the downside for these when we've been going along for seven days going sideways. Because what that tells you, if we get the expansion of volume, it's finally gonna basically tell you that, okay, we want lower price. If we don't get the expansion of volume, that CPI will come out tomorrow and this thing will pop in a second. That's kind of just how it goes, man. 877-927-6648. We take a look at the indice volume out here. You have, uh, we have 479 million in the NYSE, I mean in the uh, NYSE, inside the NASDAQ composite, we are getting 4.2. That's gonna be a lot of volume. See, what's, that, what's happening in the NASDAQ, man, we get 4.2 right now, that's gonna bang out over 5 billion shares. Dow, Dow Industrials right now down 385, NASDAQ's off 228, S&P's off 61. Uh, gold. Gold at uh, 1851. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a Tier 1 mining district. This is a large-scale, low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. 
Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading down at 379. You get the NASDAQ off 228. S&Ps are off 59. Let's go into the Dow Industrials and see what is the strength and the weakness. Uh, look at this. There's only two, two equities that are in the green. Um, okay, so here we go. You got uh, Home Depot putting 28 positive points. Uh, 3M putting one, taking away from it. You got Goldman Sachs minus 51, Visa 38, Boeing 29, Caterpillar 28. Inside the NDX 100, what do we have? The strength versus the weakness inside the NDX. You got NXPI, oh, that's up 4.8%. What is this one? This is a new one. Oh, Fortnite. Fortnite's up 2.3, Costco's up 1.7, Starbucks up 1.3. Taking away from it, Pinduoduo down 9.5%, Moderna's off 8.5%, Mercado Libre's off 8 and a quarter, and JD.com is off uh, 7.7 .7 and a half. Man, those are, those are some big numbers uh, on the downside. There's no doubt about that. So let's just take a look at the, the highest volume equities out here and see what we have. You got Advanced Micro down 160. You got Carnival off a buck. Uh, Bank of America is down a buck 16. You got Nvidia off 338. Tesla's up a buck 57. We have uh, Occidental uh, down 238. Robin Hood's down 30, no big deal there. Yeah, this, this, um, this, we, we definitely have a trader's market, man. There's no doubt about that. Uh, what's going to get interesting, no doubt, is that you have the CPI coming out tomorrow morning, um, 8.30, I believe that comes out. That's going to put some volatility into the marketplace, folks. That's the real bottom line. And depending on, you know, which side of the market you're on, meaning a bull or a bear, uh, you know, looking for it to go higher or lower, I think what you're going to get, you're going to probably get both. I, when this first comes out, I suspect you're going to get both. What I don't, what, what's all really interesting to me is this, is that these rates are going to keep going up. So my take is that as these rates keep going up, it's like, it just means that everyone makes less money, man. That's, I mean, that's how it, that's how it shoot, shoots out. You know, at least, well, we'll just put it this not on a continual basis. At, on the beginning of this run up, that's what it, it goes down to. Because what ends up happening, individually, we got to get used to higher rates. Business-wise, you got to get used to higher rates, and we all will. The, you know, the, we've done business when, I've done business with rates for 14.5%, okay? So 14.5 down to zero, now you go back up the other way. You change the dynamic. That's the bottom line. That's how this thing shakes out. You got to change the dy dynamic of how you do business, where you do business, what kind of risk you want to take. That, those, those are all, the, but... At the beginning of large turns like this, 
I would say no matter how good a manager you are, even I can't, I can't even imagine like these big players, um, how they fast they have to move. And yeah, let's go look at lumber. And I'll go, wait, Dan, you're going to crack up when I tell you the story. Um, this is a good story. Okay. And I hadn't looked at lumber, but this is, okay. So let's go, we'll go to July lumber. Okay. And you can see lumber is down from 1204. And this is 100,000 board feet, okay, down to 563. So I get the gist of it, and the gist of it looking at lumber, this, this, here, here's the conversation. Me and another builder yesterday, right? Bottom line is that, you know, everyone's a little bit nervous. Some more than others, meaning in the building business, okay? So what happened, and this is, this is a good friend of mine, too, he, and he's a great builder. So what ends up happening, he says, hey, have you looked at the lumber? And I says, yeah, I have. You know, yeah, it's cheap, right? I get that. Well, then the conversation was going that, okay, that means that housing is going to keep going. It's going to, you know, it's gonna, not going to be a problem. Oh, that's not my take on it. That's that's. That's just not how it normally shakes out. What does happen is this. As that goes down, the deals will start coming in about six or seven months. It'll take that long to filter through the system to say to your subs that, okay, man, we need you to come down on price. It wouldn't actually come down like that. You wouldn't have to ask them to come down on price because what ends up happening is that if you have two or three or four bids on a project, one of them will come underneath and it'll come underneath in a monster way, not in a small way. Meaning if it's a $100,000 bid, let's say, um, what will end up happening is that you could get down to the price point of um, 80. It'd be that dramatic, it, you know, because the bottom line, the subs do have a spread that's pretty amazing. Let's go take a look at the four, the three Qs. And the question is, are they coming down on lighter volume? Uh, it, th it doesn't look like they are to me. I mean, the last swing low at 44 million, we get 40 million now. It, it is coming against the swing, the actual swing low, which is the uh, 303. And it won't, it, so that is, that, that's 59 million right now, you're at 40. Yeah, we won't do 59 million. But if we don't bounce and we stay flat there, then it's a problem because then what you'd have is this. This is actually a little creek that's setting up. Now, the bottom line is that when you take a look at this, you know, this, you, okay, so picture this. This is a classic white cough. We came down, you came all the way up to ice. That's what we got to. We haven't been able to break ice on the, from the way down. That being said, what have, we've set up now, what we have set up now is this. You've set up another little creek on the way down. And so I was like, okay, you're gonna jump that creek tomorrow morning? And I suspect that it's gonna be very easy to jump that creek if the market doesn't like that CPI. <laughs> That's kind of how it shakes out. Most of the time when a number's coming out like that, I expect it to bounce both ways. And then it'll settle down after five minutes. That's right. That's right. That's where I think we're we're seeing this thing. Schlumberger, SLB. Let's go take a look at Schlumberger for a couple of the tigers out here. Schlumberger. The low is 25. The high is 49. It's trading 48.60. Okay. So. Okay, so I'd stay right where you are on Chambergé. I mean, it looks to me like Chambergé goes up to 61. 60, now, so what, there's, always, there's all these different tools you can kind of use. And where I just come with that is that that's, that's ice. That's, you know, that's what it comes down to. You know, you've had some decent volume. You know, the biggest volume was right up to 46. And that was on a, uh, that was four months ago. You can see, but last month was not bad. Uh, but when you do a bounce this high anyway, 
Uh, the bottom line is that you, you can basically get up to ice. And ice is laying out at 59.60 approximately. So I suspect you'll see a little run up to that level. This, this oil market, folks, looks to me like it wants to go to 147. So stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. We have the Dow Industrials right now down uh, 375. NASDAQ is off 244. S&P's down 61. We'll come right back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFM. NN.com. Tom O'Brien has just announced a live Timing the Trade webinar Friday, June 10th from 9 a.m. until 2 p.m. Eastern Time. Join Tom O'Brien for five hours of live education as he teaches you his trading methodology right from his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System. In this live webinar, Tom O'Brien will be teaching you his entire trading system, including quality volume, ABC structures, Fibonacci confluence zones, cause and effect, swing points, and more. We will be limiting this class to 40 attendees, so please do not delay and reserve your seat today for this special live event with Tom O'Brien. All attendees will also receive a physical copy of his book, The Art of Timing the Trade, an $88 value, mailed to you, along with a free month of his daily newsletter, Market Insights, a $169 value. For all the details and to reserve your seat today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 432. You get the NASDAQ off 246. S&Ps are down uh, 69. And, folks, the workshop tomorrow. So I'm doing the workshop tomorrow morning. Starts at 9 o'clock, and they go from 9 to 12. Take a break to 12.30. Go from 12.30 to 2. Uh... 4.30 this afternoon, that's it. We're cutting this thing off. Uh, so if you want to go to that workshop, uh, bottom line, please sign up right now. We'll, we'll give it you all set. We're going to rock and roll tomorrow morning in a big way. So check it out on the front page of TFNN. Uh, yeah, check this chat out. This is pretty cool. So, and we'll be talking about this a lot tomorrow as to swing points, quality volume, the whole ball of wax, right? So you can see what happened here, right? We finished the ABC structure down. And I'm looking at the Qs right now, right? That was at uh, 12,412, right? Bottom line, that's we had big volume there. We came all the way down to the 12,386, uh, okay? Now you're at 357. Do you see this last bar? The last bar, you had the contraction, 12,000 contracts versus 19. 
So you want to watch this closely because the bottom line is that, yeah, you can do the 1 to 1.382. There's no doubt about that. But what does happen is that as you have, <coughs> excuse me, volume it contracting like this, that's where you can get this turn and, you know, bottom line, go, go top side. You know, and I'm, I'm, listen, I'm not looking for, <laughs> I'm not looking for a big top side move. Uh, but the bottom line is that you can expect, as I said at the beginning of the program, some kind of a bounce. And if we don't get a bounce and you have lighter volume as, you, as you're breaking those, the bot, what, that, what that says, okay, is that you have a weak market uh, in a monster way, not in a small way. We go over to the, let's go over to the Dow Industrials and take a look at the Dow as to where that baby is set up at this particular point. So you have the Dow. Okay, so the last low, we're breaking the last low. Okay, this is cool then. Okay, let me get this. 509. What date is that? That's going to be the, the second. Okay, so we just, we just broke the swing low of the second, right? So now what you do is this. You go back, and I want to see the indice volume of the second because it's going to tell us whether we're breaking swings with volume or not. Now, this, the second had 946 million. It's going to be a close call. I don't think we're going to get 946 because right now we're at 509. We'll get 850, maybe, maybe 9. It's going to be pretty tough to get 946, but if we got, picture this, if you get 946 or over, that's telling you flat out, man, that this market wants lower price. And I'm talking about tomorrow, too. If we go to the diamonds and we take a look at the diamonds, this will give us a little clue, maybe. The diamonds, the last swing low is 3.7 million. No, it's not that, man. Three point, okay, so check this out. 3.7 million was the last low of the diamonds, okay? Right now, you got 1.8 million. Coming into that 325.36, right where we are. So, we'll see where it shakes out. But that's, that's telling me that, you know, you're going to get a snapback. But that's just how it goes, man. There's, so, picture, folks. Whether you're going higher or lower... It's all about the energy that goes higher or the energy that goes lower. And at both points, the, the, the market only has so much energy, as we only have so much energy. So what ends up happening is that, let's say you keep going higher, higher, higher. Well, you can see that the volume contracts, 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 then it just gives it up. That's it. Lower is the exact same way. You go lower, lower, lower. No more sellers, same thing happens, and you don't need, need as many buyers to get to higher price. So let's go take a look at the, I want to take a look at Newmont. It's amazing that the gold contract is not like dead in the water. Newmont, the seller Newmont here, 3.6 million. That last swing, you're going into 7 million, so that's good. But this is, this is a decisive break, man. This looks like it's going to test uh, 64.35. And right now we are at uh, 64.83. Let's go take a look at the uh, the OIH. The OIH, you know, no doubt has been trying to get to a higher high. Um, it got up there for one day. You got you got up to 317. Right now you're at 302. You're pulling back with uh, 800,000. Versus 1.2 million. So this is this one's a tough one to figure out, man. You know, because your first high in the OIH came in at 306. That had volume of 2.9 million. Your second high had 1.1. The third high had 1.2. Yeah, maybe recharge itself, but that's. You, you can see on the second swing point right there, right? The second swing point definitely was a failure in price and volume. And on volume, it was by a large amount, too. It wasn't by a small amount. It was, it was definitely by a large amount, which made a difference. Let's go take a look at uh, Amazon. Since uh, Amazon here did that good old 20 to 1 stock split, uh, Amazon right now, you know, came off the low of uh, 101, shot up to 128. Right now you're backing down with light volume. Look at this, you're backing down at the strength with uh, 53 million shares versus 144 million shares. You know, so this is where you want to basically start, you know, 
setting up saying, okay, what do we have? Do we have a 0.382 retracement? What kind of retracement we have? I mean, I wouldn't be biting on these things. That's the other side. But just for a heads up for yourself to understand where you are in the marketplace. You know, right now, you just passed a 0.382 retracement. That's saying that, I guess what? You're going to set up a 0.50 retracement. And, you know, the Fibonacci sequence, folks, when you break a 0.382, you're going to go to a 50. Break a 50, you're going to go to a 618. Break a 618, then you get a 100% move of a move. And 100% moves of moves, meaning that you have something that starts at $10, you go to 25, go from 25 all the way back to 10. You know, uh, when you do those types of moves, those, if you combine that with volume as it's coming back into it, um, you know, your, your probability goes higher. That's, that's the real bottom line. Okay, you don't have charts? Let's see. You should have charts. You get charts, Duffy. It's, they're up there. Now, let's go look at this platinum market. So, so platinum's taking a little hit here. So first, we're going to go to the contract. We're down 40 bucks. Chat's not here. Okay, that's not good. Okay, give me here. Let's do this then. One second. Screen. Hmm. Okay, one second. I know how to change this. It's showing me that I have them. That's what's so weird. One second. I'll find them. One second. TV. Oh, it's okay. Thank you. Okay. Oh, I see what's going on. Okay, I got it. I get sorry. Here we go. You get rid of that. I see. You know what's going on? I get so many shots. Now. No, I didn't pause it. Sorry about this, folks. I, okay. Anyway, stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, 
trade LABU or LABD. Directions Daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now up for 478. NASDAQ's off 266. S&P's down 74. Let's get a Jose in Lakeland. Jose, what's going on, brother? Hey there, Tom. Tom, I'm calling live, live from Racetrack Gas Station in Lakeland. <laughs> the pumps are high. Things are ugly. Do I gas up? Yeah, you do fill I up. Gas up, or do I and what? Uh, and uh, or do I forego the gas and get the Supreme Deluxe pizza and walk home? <laughs> it's up to choice. You fill up, man. Fill up. You gotta stay full. <laughs> yes, Tom. Uh, tomorrow is usually Friday, ugly gold day. Yes, but you got a lot of. You know, as you like to say, confluence. You've got the uh, PPR, CPI number coming out tomorrow. Right. Is Newmont a buy now? It's down today? No, don't do it. Because this, this, no. this Newmont, I mean, this has this, it's a high volume low that's laying out there. We're almost at it. It was 64, 37, 32. Just, just let it, let, let it be, because it, it, you know you can see the, see the breakout on the other side also. When this broke topside in February, that bottom there is 64, 63, which we're already into. But then we came back down and, you know, you get 9.7 million. It's pulling back with light volume, but I would, I would let it basically show you that it doesn't want to trade at that price or rejects that lower price first. Okay, so um, look, you got Monday, 4th of July. They're probably going to rally this market the last week of June. What do you think tomorrow's prognostication is going to be with the uh, CPI? We're down? The way this market's trading right down now, um, yeah, without a bounce, it looks to me, I mean, let's, let's look at this volume again. Because if we have an expansion of volume, the probability goes much higher that, you know, this thing's going to go south. You got 59 million. Went higher yesterday with 64. Yeah. You're, you're already digging into this bar, so... This is telling me that, yeah, it's going to be a problem child in the morning, more than likely. That's what it looks like. Look, even if it's a, a tame number, the trend seems to, to be down right now. Um, no, uh, that's a great point, man. No, that's, that's what happens, folks, in a market that wants lower price. It's just like, you know, yeah. when we all go long, we're all geniuses on the way up, right? If you're basically selling to the market now and you get a down market, all of a sudden you're a genius on the way down, you know? Yeah, I mean, the surprises come out in a down market, they come out lower. Surprises in a bull market, you go higher, you know? And they seem to always come out of nowhere, you know? That's, that's what it comes down to, so. Yes, yes, it's been fun playing these techs uh, on the downside, but uh, uh, I see a few of them like IBM and Cadence, they're pulling back, but they, they almost, they're getting ready to jump. Yeah, you know, this this IBM deal is quite a deal, man. I mean, you know, IBM has been, you know, down for years, folks, okay? But uh, as Jose is just saying, you know, uh, you know, I mean, IBM had a high of 206 going all the way back to 213. You know, it dropped this low in, you know, 2020. But IBM's held up. No, I agree, man. You know, there's something happening with IBM, and it's something happening that's good. Yeah. Could be a cup and handle. Look, they've restructured everything. That's the new spin from the analysts. You know, those Satan lovers, those analysts. But the analysts really don't know what to value any of these tech stocks going forward. They have no clue how to value them at this time. No, I agree. They, I, my, my take is that even when they're going up, I mean, we can go from 
uh, they were giving us eyeballs in 2000. They, I mean, you know, they, they put together whatever they can put together to push as much paper out as they can, right? I mean, that's, that's, that's the reality. So. That's right. They're suppressing the truth. <laughs> Cooking, All brother. Right, Tom, thank you. Have a great one, man. Have a safe one. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. And uh, we certainly don't have a bounce, folks. That's for sure. Let's go take a look at these cues for a second. Okay, so let's see what we're doing here. Okay, so we're in a straight line move, man. That's the, you can still see even the cues. Last time we had any volume on down was 302.29. Let me see how this bar has well. This bar, this is a big bar. This has four minutes left in this bar. Now, let me see what we're going into. Okay, so we broke everything. This, we just broke the consolidation. So that's a big deal because when you break the consolidation, you can take the lows of this consolidation, then takes the highs of it. Let me do this a different way. And that can get you a, a price projection. So you got, what is that, 14, and I'll just take, uh, what's the bottom of the, so three, it's about 10 bucks. So that can set up, uh, bottom line, that can set up a what, 10, that's a 293, what's down at the bottom, 280 something, 280, yeah. Yeah, this market's having a hard time holding price, man. And so, Jose brought up a good deal about this July 4th deal, right? So, most of the time what comes down, folks, is this. Is that this is the time, and I was explaining this a couple weeks ago, this is the time that this market can go south because, like, July 4th, they want to go higher, right? Just, they'll have a bounce there. And then, after July 4th, man, I mean... It can be brutal. I, I've seen brutal markets from basically July 14th, July 10th, going right into October, you know, because the bottom line is that that's when everyone gets fed up in a monster way, not in a small way. You know, when you, when you, get, a, when you get a down trap that's going, that's when things can get uh, basically out of hand. What I, mean, what I mean by out of hand is that the selling just absolutely accelerates um, on the downside. Let's go take a look at Apple and see what a few of these big dogs are doing out here. Oh, okay, sorry. One second. Let's go to uh, Bob in St. Pete. Hey, Bob, what's going on? Hey, hey, Tom, can you hear me okay? I can, thank you, yes. Thank you. Um, I'm really, I'm really, uh, Fibonacci retracement levels on the price of oil. Is there anything that might save us? Um, when you mean save us from oil going higher? Yeah, yeah, is it, but, you know, is there some kind of snapback number that it could snap back? Because I've given up hope on everything else. I'm just hoping that maybe uh, uh, nature can save us here. Do you mean for gas bills? You're not shotting oil, are you? I'm, I'm not invested in anything. Oh, good. Okay, okay. So... Um... You know, my, I mean, you normally have retracements. I mean, that, that's, that's, a, that's a normal occurrence, you know, in markets, you know, but even if you do a retracement, you're still at like 113 or 106 in the oil market. You know what I mean? Mm hmm So, you know, I think 147 is coming before 113 is. Okay. Yeah. And of no, course, no. gas is so expensive. There's no doubt, you know that. I mean, it, it's a lot of money filling up uh, gas tanks and watching it go south very quickly, you know. So I, I, I know what you're saying, man. And you know, I was hoping Mother Nature could save us there somehow. I don't. You know. Well, yeah. <laughs> Have a great one, man. Have a safe one. Dow, Dow Industrials right now down 550. You get the Nasdaq off 294. S&Ps are off 85. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's down 568. Nasdaq's off 302. S&P's down 86. And, you know, folks, <laughs> one of the tigers in the den, you know, I, was looking and saying, hey, man, maybe someone has these numbers for tomorrow. Well, I'll tell you, man, <laughs> I, that's possible <laughs> because the way this selling has happened, uh, it's pretty incredible. There's no two ways about that. You got the NASDAQ right now down 2.5 percent. The S&P is off 1.7, as is the Dow Industrials. And uh, bottom line is that this late in the day, you're not going to get anything happening, man. So you're going to finish out at the lows of the day. Um, bottom line, let's go take a look at the SPY, see how this is laid out right now. You get the SPY laid out, 67 million shares, yesterday 64, you're going into 82. Still going, it's a lot of volume. Yeah, this, this, this is, it's real possible this leg started down the marketplace, that's the real bottom line. You get the Qs off uh, $7.5 dollars. You had 48 million. Yesterday, they tried to look at this queue. The, the queue's a trip, man. What you had yesterday is this. The, the queues yesterday tried to get to a high at 311. It did 38 million shares. Well, you're going down to 48 million, and you got five minutes left in the marketplace. You know, you get more than that. But the bottom line, you got five minutes left to four o'clock. That's where the acceleration is going to come in. The high of the next bar is, four, is 392. And right now you're at 299.94. Now that hasn't dug enough into that bar in order to basically, you know, say that okay, it's going to come right down into that bar. But if that's if this is where the break 
is happening, which is looks like that's what we have. Um, now your high volume swing area 280 is wide open. If, if, the, if the 280 is wide open, then what sets up, folks, is that what sets up there is that you very well, very well may have a monster ABC structure down. Okay, and that is. It's a monster ABC structure on the way down. That's the bottom line. Always remember, folks, the bank can claw your heart out. The bull can run you over. And thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Don't forget about my workshop. You got a half hour to sign up for it. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. He'll have that CPI for you. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Look at him, folks.